<clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see. This is what I got to set up some kits with. I got those. I got these. More flatwood here. More flatwood. Got all those. Got a cheap twine. <clears throat> Got a cast net sewing needle. I knit my own cast net sometimes. <clears throat> This bag of goodies. Got bear, uh, those. Got some compasses. Got a bunch of these cards. Got saws. Got metal matches everywhere. More saws. Got these, ain't even open yet. Got a glass breaker on it. A whistle. Bow blocks. Got these big containers. These are pretty good size too. Got the little got some little pill bottles. Um, got tarp clips. You know, you put on your tarp, clip it around. Got more ferrocium rods. Oh, let's see, what is this? This is... Hmm. <clears throat> that is, uh... Paracordon, uh, lanyard breakaways. I got a bunch of those. Anyway. Now let's see. My Lord Blankets. My Star Wars tin. Yeah, my Star Wars tin has the uh, my homemade fire starter in it. It's some good stuff right here. Made with fatwood. It's like a gel type stuff. Good stuff. Burns even if it's wet. Uh, more of these still in the pack. Uh, lanyard hooks. More lanyard hooks. New tins. More bow blocks. Another one of these. A um, bag of compasses to go on your uh, paracord blade bracelets and stuff. More little pill bottles, aluminum pill bottles. 
a little fat wood fire kit already set up. Paracord. More paracord. More paracord. Lighter fluid. Per paracord bracelets. Got the compass, the whistle, and the flint. Another bow block. Uh, let's see, these are uh, guideline stops where you can put them on your tarps and stuff. Quick, quick release tensioners and stuff. Uh, this is my survival pack thing. It's got a survival bracelet and a watch on it. Usually that's got a, uh, a tin in it. Uh, the orange and black survival bracelet. Uh, more of these. Uh, another little kit with the magnesium striker bar, piece of fat wood, and another survival card. Some more of these. And the tender. Now let's see, another striker. Some whistles. A patch knife, which is a pretty cool a little patch knife. Comes a little little yellow uh, leather sheath. Uh, let's see. This is just extra cords, lanyards, another mylar blanket. Uh, like a Swiss Army knife, multi multi type tool. It's got the magnifying glass and the, the blades and the pliers and the scissors and all that stuff on it. <clears throat> Some bearings. Another bag of whistles. Another pair of seeing rod. I guess you can't go wrong having enough pair of seeing rods. Another whistle, a cotton ball, some straws. Some cotton pads. That's the ones I put the uh, the gel wax on. Roll them up. A little put the nail lens. Handful of these little clips on the bottom. And that's what's in that one bag right there. I'll throw some of this stuff back in.
No, this is in a little haversack. A little, little small haversack. Can't make a bitchcraft video with all of this. Something ain't right, right? And then compass with the temperature thing on it. And I got a lot of these little tins, like I said earlier. This one I painted green. I'll probably take paint one red for a uh, fire, I mean a first aid kit or something like that. And uh, might make one up as a fishing kit. But usually I carry, you know, a fishing kit, a little tackle box. I got uh, some of the 26 compartment um, fishing tackle boxes that uh, let's see what's in this bag. I ain't even opened this one yet. So I guess we're going to do an unbagging right here. Open it where I can still use the bag. Put the stuff in, whatever. Okay, here's what we got in the bag. Paracord bracelet. Lots of them. All of them got the compass, the whistle, and the, the flint. Four different colors. Black, this, and um, the blue. Black, green, green camouflage, and blue camouflage. Should be 40 of them here. I got probably another another 40 of them up at the house. So there ain't no shortage on paracord bracelets. I can tell you that now. But a lot of people wonder what's in my bag. 
That's just in my in my little mess around bag. A lot of this stuff I sell, obviously. Not only do I participate in bushcraft, I sell bushcraft. And I give a lot of it away. You know, some of it, you know, depending on who it is, you know. I see somebody that, you know, trying to get their kit started or whatever. You know, the halfway's got a kit started or something. I, you know, I might see something that they don't have in their kit. And, uh, you know, help them out a little bit. You know, hook them up with something. Who knows? You never know, man. Like I say, I got... And I got bag after bag after bag of stuff. Uh, my new, uh, I don't know if you can see it here. Tell you what I, whoa. Tell you what I did get that I really, really like. And, uh, it's just poncho right here. It's a nice poncho. Real nice poncho. It's got all the, the uh, tiles on it, good tiles. All, all the corners got tiles. Um, this thing's got really good color to it, inside and out. Metal snaps all the way around. So, Got the good snaps, good, good quality for the price. I mean, these things are very reasonable. And like I say, you got very good color to it. Nice camo color. Now you can't see me, can you? Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, uh, disappeared on you. Yeah, I disappeared on you. Yep, I'm back. I'm gone again. I'm back. Anyway. You can't beat the price. Comes with a little bag to put it in. Rolls up real nice. So. This is going to be my next little project is uh is uh these are tarps i got two tarps some um twine in there because i don't like bank line you know people holler bank line tar bank line yeah don't like it i ready to get some of that brick laying you know, the whatever they call it, the, you know, foundation line, still 36 size, and uh, same thing, it just don't have the tar on it. Uh, let me say, one day I'll do one on my... I'll do a video on my everyday carry, but I'm not going to do one right this second, but this is my everyday carry bag, you yeah, know, got all my, guess what you call my everyday stuff in it. Uh, all the rest of these bags. this one these are pretty much my overflow bags or anything that overflows like those paracord bracelets and stuff
Yeah, right now there's not much of nothing in it. Like I say, it was an overflow bag, put my extra stuff in. A lot of bracelets. This bag, it's kind of an everyday carry type thing. I got everyday carry stuff in it. But it's actually my camera bag, my gadget bag. All that stuff carries my, carries my power uh, banks and stuff. Really good power bank, by the way. Got dual, dual outputs. It's even got a flashlight on it. It's on, you just can't see it right this angle. You know. But yeah, uh, gotta have lots of power banks. You're gonna do videos and stuff, lights, camera. Um, operate your phone, all that stuff. You know, the camera and stuff on it. Uh, I guess that's pretty much it for now. I uh, don't see anything else setting around me right this second. Except for, of course, my Gold Zero uh, solar charger operating my, my lights and stuff up there. Let me turn the, turn the main light off and you can see it. Operate my main lights up here. Under my canopy. But yeah, that's how dark it is out here without the, uh, without the light on. And then BAM! Light. Right, y'all. Uh, that's what's in some of my knick-knack bags. You know, that I build kits out of. And Like I say, it's kind of hard for me to pull out a kit and say here's what it is you know when I build so many different style kits and fishing kits first aid survival uh, you know you name it uh, I put it together so plus I got some large ones you know some some big tins that I put all together and uh becomes one kit so and it's got multiple kits inside that kit so all right well appreciate you watching uh, i'll get back with y'all later